What's going on guys, my name's Connor, and today I have you guys on the Louis Vuitton Macassar Brown Pock Backpack. I'm going to be breaking down all the details of this bag as well as trying it on, so if you guys do enjoy these kind of videos, make sure to hit the like subscribe button as it really, really does help out my channel and give a visual to more people. And while you're at it, make sure to claim your four free stocks on WeWill at the link below. All you gotta do is sign up, you get two stocks for free and another two after your first deposit. So without further ado, let's get right into the review. Alright guys, so first things first, just before I unzip it, try it on and everything else, I want to go over the retail cost. The retail cost of this bag was $2,780 USD and it is currently not available on the site anymore as it is not being released anymore. Um, I believe they stopped releasing it just a few years ago, but the market value on this bag, buying it second hand, which is obviously your only option right now if you guys are looking to buy this bag, is going to be close to $1,700 USD. So if you're buying one lightly used like this one is, you expect to pay somewhere around $1,700 if it's brand new, maybe a little bit closer to $1,000 and if it's beat, somewhere closer to $1,500-ish, I would say. And getting past that, I'll give the bag a quick spin so you guys can get a good look at it. Here's how it looks in the light. Hopefully you guys can get a good look. Here's the side, here's the back side, obviously. And yeah, obviously we got the single strap up here. We got this little layer right here and then we also have this, which is somewhat adjustable obviously you can unlock it and lock it by putting this thing in the hole but it's not like there's multiple holes so you can't tighten and loosen on as you could on a bag like a steamer or christopher and then obviously we have this little pocket right here a lot of people aren't as familiar with this bag so i always get the question how big is this and what i like to say is that it's a similar shape and size to a steamer but just a little bit smaller so obviously the more popular one would be the eclipse steamer which came out and Everyone wanted that bag because it was a really good size and obviously it looks sick in my opinion. And uh, and yeah, this is just going to be a little bit smaller. This is going to be a little bit older obviously because it's not being released anymore. I believe they kind of like switched it out. It seems like they stopped releasing this and they started releasing the newer one which is the Eclipse Steamer. And this one just kind of faded away and obviously it has a brown canvas which isn't as popular right now just because it seems like everyone wants the newer canvases like the Eclipse like I mentioned or something exotic like the denim people that I reviewed or the Galaxy. It seems like a lot of the really passionate collectors and people that are doing reviews on YouTube will review those and so this is kind of just left behind but in my opinion I still really really like the classic Macassar canvas. Um, I mentioned that when I reviewed the Macassar Christopher just because it's a classic, it's a staple, and definitely something that I want in my collection per se. But if I was going out and I had to decide between wearing this and the steamer, I would probably go for the steamer just because of the canvas as well as the size. And so I'll just unzip this front pocket for you guys and show you guys how much room you got in here. Hopefully I can get in the light just a little bit so you guys can see. But there's not gonna be too much room. There's just gonna be enough room for maybe a water bottle. Probably, okay, so imagine having two water bottles and just shoving them in here that would absolutely fill this up to the absolute max. So hopefully that gives you guys a good reference on what it can hold. What I would probably put in here is maybe my keys, wallet, change, other small little things up here. Maybe a water bottle also to go along with it. And then obviously up here we'll have a lot more room. I'll just unpop, undo it for you guys. So obviously we're just gonna pull that out of here. We're gonna take that out of the hole and just pull this top part up. If I can do it with one hand, it's a little bit difficult because the thing behind it keeps going in. But I think I got it now. There we go. And then obviously we'll have a lot more space in here. And before I do that, to make it a little bit bigger, we have these buttons on the side which you can undo. Hopefully I can do it with one hand. You guys can see these go in and out. And there's one on each side. So if you guys want it a little bit smaller, maybe you're just storing it, you can button them up like I do. But when we want to open it up and see the full interior, it's smart to undo those buttons. And so you guys can see in here, it's kind of like an interesting color on the bigger and the smaller pocket. And when I see that, I mean, cause it looks like kind of a faded brown or a burgundy in my eyes. Um, and then right here, we'll obviously have the heat stamp. Hopefully you guys can see that in the light. It'll say Louis Vuitton Paris made in France. And then here we will have a little folder in the back if you guys can see that. So obviously that's about the size of a smaller laptop. You guys can slide that in there and keep it protected. And then on this side, we will have another little pocket. And it's probably smart if I just lay it down. And then on this side, we will have another little pocket right here which will be big enough to hold smaller items. Hopefully you guys can see me holding this pocket up right here. Um, this will just hold small little accessories. Like, I don't know, someone, the previous owner left this little bag in here. 
Um, so you can you have about just as much space in here as you have about just as much space in here as you do in that little pocket. And then obviously you have the big interior where you're gonna be storing most of your stuff. And I'd say that you can fit maybe two to three outfits in here. So go away for two to three nights, just holding onto a backpack and you guys will be good to go. But yeah, it's definitely a really good looking bag. It's definitely very different than a lot of other bags. And it's definitely one to check out if you guys are in the market for a nice little everyday travel bag. It's not too exotic and it, it does feel a lot of needs and is very useful because of the size. Um, there's a lot of other backpacks like the, like the, let's say the Josh as well as the Discovery that are obviously a lot smaller, but a lot of people like them because they're very appealing. This one might be a little bit less appealing in my eyes, but at the same time, it is a lot more functional. All right guys, so trying it on, obviously from the front, you guys are only really gonna be able to see the straps, which are adjustable. You can see towards the bottom, obviously this part goes up and down. You guys kind of know how this works because it's used on a lot of other backpacks, obviously on both sides. So whether you're tall, thin, short, a little bit bigger, um, it doesn't really matter. You guys can get to fit however you want. I kind of like it centered on my back, but I know some people like it lower, some people like it higher, but looking at it from the side, you guys can already see the monogram just turning a little bit to the side which is obviously very standout and is definitely very recognizable. So I would say this backpack is for the more traditional LV people or Louis Vuitton people who like to use a classic canvas rather than going for the more modern ones. Um, because obviously if you're really trying to catch eyes and let people know that you're wearing Louis Vuitton, this is the canvas to do it because it's so recognizable. Um, here's how it looks from the back. Obviously very good looking, a, a bit different looking than the steamer backpack and probably looks a little bit smaller. Um, and then also on the steamer backpack, we would have a little zipper right here to fit more stuff. I don't know if you guys know that. And then obviously this top part will be a lot bigger um, and it's also adjustable to go higher and lower. And also we would have a lock to keep it locked up. So that, those are also a few little features that I prefer in the steamer backpack rather than this backpack. But I'll show you guys it from this side as well so you guys can See how it looks, probably has a little bit better lighting look at it from this side because my window's over there. But yeah, let me know what you guys think of this bag. Do you guys think it's worth the price tag um, of $2,700? Would it retail that? It actually retailed that closer to 28 to three. Um, but market right now, like I mentioned, is gonna be closer to 1,700. So would you guys pay $1,700 for this bag? Or would you guys hold off and maybe go for a steamer, or Christopher, or Michael, or some of the more popular bags that are very functional as well. Let me know in the comments. I'm genuinely curious to hear what you guys say. And if you guys are on the fence about any of those bags that I just mentioned, I have already reviewed all those bags on my channel. So make sure to go ahead and check those out. Check out some of my other videos. I review some of the craziest type of design items on YouTube. And let me know what you guys think, okay? And if you guys have any questions whatsoever, rather than messaging me on Instagram, which you guys can do, don't feel like I won't answer because I will. Um, but if you guys have a question that you think some other people might be wondering as well, it really does help to leave it down in the comments so I can answer for everyone rather than just answering for you because then I got to answer over and over and it also saves other people some time in going to my Instagram messaging me or just commenting themselves and waiting on a response from me so it kind of helps a lot of people out knocks out two to three birds with one stone if two to three people have the same question so make sure to leave it down there but again thank you guys so much for watching this video let me know if you guys want to see my channel and I'll see you guys in the next video